Hello, and welcome back to Gold Rush Roleplay. We are back once again. Uh, in the last episode, we of course looked around for a job for a little bit. To probably not too much promise, except for that union over in Tumbleweed, which I think we'll be starting hopefully in a couple days. But I actually did a little bit. Um, we actually streamed, I believe, yesterday, or I guess when this video comes out, two days from this video coming out and we did quite a bit we actually started a carrot farm with the new farming system which was a little scuffed but i think it's fixed now uh, and we did quite a lot of farming to be honest uh we farmed i think i have like 84 carrots in my safe deposit box at the bank and also i did uh, quite a bit of hunting quite a bit of deliveries actually i think we have some hunting stuff on us we might as well sell it off um, we also got this flask that I believe we can fill up with water and then I believe boil it and get clean water instead of having to buy the water every day at the general store. Yeah, Let's sell off this stuff real quick. I think we have a couple things. Shut your mouth. Eight dollars. Okay, nothing, nothing too crazy. But we definitely had a little bit of extra stuff left over. What I think we are going to do, as I talked about a little bit in the previous episode, I think today we're going to try out mining. Again, I've been doing deliveries, hunting, and a bunch of grinding a little bit off camera. And I think we should have almost enough money for one. I believe it's a hundred and sixty dollars. So it's definitely something not cheap to get started into. I also have heard um, from a couple people that the natives up there are trying to control the mining lands and having people pay them like a hundred dollars a week to mine up there which again we are not going to have that kind of money so hopefully that doesn't happen uh if it does though i have something in the safety deposit box that might help us out let's go inside the bank real quick so in the bank we have something that they might want to use which would be we have a little bit of peyote uh, again we have a bunch of freaking carrots um i think we're actually going to sell most of these let's grab 10 or i guess 11 now total for uh, trash to have a little bit of food but i think we're gonna be able to sell all these do a delivery and then we should have enough money for a pickaxe again i believe it's around 160 dollars we have 122 if we do a delivery i think we'll get around 24 and then we should be pretty much having almost enough money to do it we sell a couple of these carrots and we oh my what is going on and we should be good so uh yeah i think we're gonna go do a delivery real quick and then probably see while we're up in strawberry if anyone up there wants to buy any carrots we're gonna try and sell them for just like a dollar 25 a piece maybe like 10 for 10 or something like that and after we do that and the delivery again we should have enough to purchase ourselves a pickaxe and get started on mining now i'm not sure how the mining system works at all we're gonna probably have to talk to one or two people about it so i'm guessing there's some other miners in town or some more experienced players that are able to help us out because again i'm not sure if we have to like smelt anything or stuff like that let's grab this delivery real quick and then we're gonna ask around town as well where there's a boiler but uh to actually be able to use the boiler we of course need to actually fill up this flask so let's do that as well um let's feed trashy a little bit and make sure she's doing all right i've been feeding her a lot more and she's definitely been a lot more compliant uh, our water is getting actually really low though so i think just in case we're gonna buy ourselves a little flask of water and let's drink that up real quick boom Make sure we're okay but i believe this flask that we were given by a friend when we were playing yesterday or again i guess two days ago for you guys on stream we we're given a flask like believe we can fill up with water and then boil it to get clean water and i think it has like 10 uses out of it so that's literally saving us five dollars right there if not more so let's go down to the water real quick uh, let's find a way down somewhere. I think there's a little spot down here. Now, I'm not sure if we have to fill it up with, like, lake water, or I guess this should work. Oh, okay. Can we fill this up here? Filling water skin? Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Boom. Oh, crap. We're going in the water now. Hopefully we don't drown. Oh, oh, oh. What is happening? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> not sure what that was. Uh, now we should have a full water flask. Okay, amount 10. Okay, sweet. Now it shows that. We're a little wet now, but, you know, we should dry off pretty quick. It's pretty freaking hot out here. I think 27 degrees Celsius, as you can see in the bottom left. But let's go try and find if someone knows where there's a boiler in town. I know there was in Valentine. There was one. Cause that's where I first learned about the flasks. But let's ask around and see if we can find a place to boil it in Blackwater. Since, again, this is like our main town. Blackwater and Strawberry are kind of our main two. So let's see if we can find someone to uh, help us out a little bit. Also, we can probably park up here. And I believe there's a guy in here that I met yesterday named Grandpa. He's a pretty damn nice guy, and he might be able to help us out as well. And we can grab some ammo from him. Howdy. Howdy. How's it going, Grandpa? Oh, pretty good. Yourself? Going all right. Going all right. All right. I'm just Anything coming in and grab some ammo, really. All right. Well, uh, to you can cut the little uh, shop over there. Uh, also, while I have it here, uh, you mind if I ask you a question or two? 
yeah sure go ahead um so i was wondering if there you know if there's like a boiler in town i've been uh, i have this flask of water but i have nowhere to boil it oh uh if you go over to the saloon there all right and as you start to walk behind the bar you'll see the 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 stove there i got you, I got you. There, and yeah uh if they you know if there's a bartender there just ask if you can go around and use the use the stove and typically they'll let you oh, i appreciate you I mean, yeah, if yeah. Uh, I can bother you for one more question, uh, you know anything right. about mining? Uh, the uh, the mining's changed since the last time I've done it. All right. All, all right. I know is you gotta go to an actual mine. Yeah, yeah. I saw one I think near Tumbleweed. Yep, there's one in Tumbleweed. There's one in uh, Annisburg. All right, all right. And there's also one up by Mount Hagen. Okay, okay. But I, the thing that I've heard is there's some ruffians. Yeah, uh, natives is what I've heard. Well, not just natives. Uh, up at the Mount Hagen, I've heard that there's uh, some, uh, just some ruffians that have claimed it as their own. Oh, boy. You think Tumbleweed will be a bit safer? Will, you know, uh, out of everything? Uh, it's possible, but because it's also out, out there, yeah. You, know, you might have a little more of the uh, issues there as well. All right, well, uh, wish me luck. I appreciate you as always for the advice yeah. and for the info. Yeah, not a problem. All right, well, it was nice talking, Grandpa. I'm going to go grab some yeah. ammo and make my way out of here. Yeah, not a problem. All right. Thank, Thank you as well, always. Thanks, Steve. That guy is going right. to be definitely so, someone that we come back to a lot. He's so a super nice guy. That. He's actually helped He's us a lot, a lot in the bath. We're going to buy a little ammo box from right. him as well. Might as well support his Two business bars. a bit. That's and, good. you know, if we ever get enough money, y'all take care. Stay safe. You too. If we ever get enough money, what what is Trashy doing out here? If we get enough money, we're definitely gonna have all our guns and stuff gone through him. He's been really nice to us. Uh, again, we met him on stream, or I think off stream, about a day or two ago, and he's just been super nice, super helpful, nice wholesome lad. So uh, what I think we're gonna do is again go do this delivery run, and that should give us almost enough money. Let's give uh, Trashy another carrot. She seems to be a little bit perturbed. But uh, again, hopefully that should give us enough money to be able to buy a pickaxe. And then, of course, we can go. Uh, I'll show you guys on the map real quick. The mines. I think we're going to try the mines down here. Yeah, Gap Tooth Mining Area. I'm guessing this might be the most safe just because it's not really near too much. And hopefully there's not going to be many two people, too many people out there. And if there is, hopefully we can like talk to the miners and make sure, you know, we're going to be safe. Because we spend all this money on the uh, the pickaxe and then we get robbed for pretty much like three or four days worth of work or probably more if they take our guns and everything. Um, uh, yeah, let's just say I might rage quit for a little bit, but, uh, either way, let's make our way up to Strawberry, do this delivery real quick, and then try and sell some carrots, and I believe that should give us enough money for the pickaxe. Again, I'll meet you guys once we're up in Strawberry. Alrighty, so we're over at Strawberry, let's go ahead to the delivery delivery location i don't know how else to say that but i believe it's right over here again by the general store i also just just remembered i completely forgot to freaking boil the flask so when we go back to boil or we'll go back to uh blackwater to sell our carrots because i don't think there's gonna be many people here that need to buy them we will probably do that as well i can't believe i completely forgot about that actually is there a boiler in here we can use oh jeez. oh y'all oh see sure what's going on in here all right, let's do a delivery over here real quick. Deliver this. Boom. I'm not sure what's happening in there. That looks a little... Oh, geez. There's like... I think I interrupted something, possibly. I'm not sure what's going on. It seems like all those guys have the same masks on, so I'm guessing they're part of the same... Whatever. But yeah, let's not let's not, let's not disturb them too much. Jeez, our horse is... I don't know why she's freaking out so much. Seems like there's something going upstairs. But again, if we go in here... Let's deposit $25, 147. So we need about, what, $13 more? If I did that math, yeah, did that math right. But I do want a little bit of extra money as well. But we should be able to sell these carrots for a decent amount of money, as I know a lot of people haven't really been farming them. So it should be, you know, not too hard to sell. But uh, yeah, it seems like there's something going on inside that store. A bunch of people, I don't really want to disturb them. Uh, yeah do not really want to disturb them right now i think what we're going to do is go back to blackwater and see if we can sell off some of these carrots again we got about 50 that i want to sell or probably around 40 keep a little bit of extra for ourselves and then we should have a little bit of money left over and have enough money for the pickaxe so again let's go head back to blackwater real real quick and uh meet you guys once again we're back there 
all right so again we are back in blackwater let's go ahead over to the saloon see if we can boil up this flask and again that should give us about 10 sips of water which will last us actually quite a while and again it's refillable so we'll pretty much never have to pay for water again which will be pretty damn nice so again, let's go ahead over to the saloon and uh yeah again see if we can boil this water up all right here we go doesn't seem like anyone's around uh no where did he say i think he said behind here let's see oh wait is it right here i believe so boom put the flask in craft and oh whoops not me to draw my gun and clean flask a water skin ready for a long trip boom now we are all set that was easy uh the crafting system is definitely interesting and that's super easy super intuitive um but now we have a full flask let's take a little sip out of it why not nice nice and now it should have then another nine uses boom there we go and we're all good to go now we have uh, quite a nice water supply we almost have enough money and if we sell some carrots i think we should have enough let's go uh let's go around let's go to the horse breeder first of all see if they want to buy like a mass amount of them and then go on from there probably all right doesn't seem like the horse breeder's around i did see him i think yesterday we met him i think his name's like wolfgang or something pretty cool guy but it uh, doesn't seem like he's around right now so let's go just go around and see if we can peddle our carrots to anyone else these two people seem like they have some money In the dirt. howdy y'all howdy howdy, howdy. uh any chance any of y'all looking for any carrots oh at the moment not but i i might know a friend that needs them how many you get uh i got about and 40 to sell a uh, dollar a piece dollar a piece yep, yep. yeah sure we'll take them off your hands oh really i appreciate it all 40. yeah sure oh awesome yeah. thank you i'm trying to afford a pickaxe you know i'll uh, slip it in your pocket though all righty i believe there you go buddy thank you thank you all right let me give you the first 32 and i'll give you the rest eight in a second All right, there you go. Let me grab the last eight. I think I have still there you go. something on the bank. That it. Where the hell Thank is my horse much, going? Sir. Yeah, if you don't hitch it up, uh, it'll take a stroll. <sighs> last time I hitched her up, she broke the hitch and just started walking away as well. So. I know. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, she doesn't listen yeah. too much. All right, yeah. well, y'all take care. Uh, wish me luck yeah, at the mines. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Which mine are you going? Uh, I think the tumbleweed one. All right, okay, all right. okay. I heard that one's the most safe, so figured might as well. Right now, I guess. <laughs> <Until something> happens, <laughs> right? Hopefully, hopefully. <sighs> all right, well, y'all take always care. Bound to happen. Yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just trying to make some money. You know, this is pretty much all my money going into this pickaxe, so uh, hopefully it goes well. Ooh, all right. Well, uh, you know what? Happy mining. All right, sweet. Well, let's go find freaking Trashy wherever she ran off to. Where the heck is she? All right, so I have got Trashy back finally. Unfortunately, we crashed, but uh, thankfully I was just able to get her back out of the stables after. But uh, let's actually grab her some carrots. And then I'm pretty sure we are all set to go buy our pickaxe. The only thing about this is that the place where we buy it is uh, all the way, I believe, up here. At this little smelting area. I think that's where it is, if I remember correctly. That is going to take quite a while. So again, if you guys have been enjoying the videos and uh, all the time that does go into videos, because trust me, a lot of time goes into each and every one. Make sure, as always, to leave a like and subscribe. But uh, without further ado, let's go head over there. Um, again, I don't think there's anywhere else. I mean, I think there was a blacksmith in town a while ago. You know what? We could go ask Grandpa again. He'll probably know. Hey, Grandpa. Yeah. Sorry to bother again, um, but you know anywhere else I can buy a pickaxe besides up near Valentine? Or do I gotta go all the way up there? Uh, you, you said you need a pickaxe. Yeah, babe. Uh, I tell you what. I've got one. I'll sell you mine. No problem. Let's go over to, uh, over to the stables and I'll pull out my wagon where it's stored. Alrighty. I appreciate it, by the way. It saves me quite the trip. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Oh, thank you. Dude, Grandpa is the man. Grandpa is the freaking man. We're going to be able to buy a pickaxe from him, which is a lot easier. Uh, why don't we just meet you at the bank? Uh, well, I got my... It, it's in my horse. Oh, I got you. I got you. I need to grab out the money. I only got $6 on me. All right. How much were you going to pay for it? Uh, 160 All right. Yeah, that's the, that's the current going rate. Yeah, I appreciate you saving right. me a big trip. I'll meet you over at the bank. Yeah, yeah. I'll be over there. Just All right. Sounds good.
Oh, dude, Grandpa has just saved us a freaking whole... We we're going to have to head all the way up to Valentine, grab money, and then go all the way there, and then go all the way back. Whew, he is the freaking man, saving us so much time. This is going to save us a huge freaking trip, so uh, definitely very nice of him. All righty. All right, let me hand over this money to you. Certainly. There you go. All right, let me just, uh, there you go. And there you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, again, this saves problem. me a huge trip, so I really do appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Uh, thank you again, Grandpa. Uh, you got a yeah, horse or you need to ride back to the, uh, the no. Uh, no, I can just walk over. All righty. You sure? Oh, absolutely. All righty. Uh, I, I need to stay limber. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right, you take care. Thank you again. You too. Not a problem. Oh, dude, what a lifesaver. All right, well, now, now we have our pickaxe. We have enough food, we have some carrots, we have our brush, we have our freaking flask full of nine more sips, and we have our pickaxe. And uh, we're finally going to set off on a new little adventure. So I'll meet you guys once we are over. At, uh, actually, we're going to probably stop, at, stop in Tumbleweed, see if there's anyone there get can give us any info on if the mines are safe or dangerous at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys once we're over in Tumbleweed. Once again, uh, we can also see if the Labazinov guy is there, the guy who's starting the union, and see if we can get maybe an update on that as well. Either way, though, I'll meet you guys once we are over in Tumbleweed. And then soon after, finally going and doing some mining. Alrighty, so here we are once again in the town of Tumbleweed. It also seems to be very hot out. I'm not sure what 30 degrees Celsius is in uh, freedom units, but we're rolling on in. I think there is a person or two here, so we're going to hopefully talk to them. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Never mind. Holy, there's a lot of people here. Hey, fella. Uh, you know anything about the mines a bit a little west of here? Yeah. You know if they're dangerous? Sometimes. Alright, because uh, I just bought myself a pickaxe with pretty much all the money I have, so I'm a little nervous about going down there. Uh, might, might you... Can I ask you a few questions? Hey, go for it. Have you been long here? Uh, about a week or so. No, 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 no. Here in town right now. Uh, tumbleweed? Yeah. Uh, no, I just arrived here. Okay, okay, okay. Do you think I'll run into many I, troubles I, over there, though? I was... Uh, no. I think so, alrighty. Alright, well, wish me luck. It's pretty much all my money invested into it, so hopefully it doesn't go too wrong. Alright, good luck, sir. Yep, yeah, alright, y'all take care. Alright, so he said it didn't seem very dangerous, but... I guess we'll see. I am very nervous about this. Uh, this is, again, pretty much all of our money invested into this. Like, literally all of our money invested into this so i really don't want to get robbed or have anything go wrong but i mean we got to find out somehow so let's just hope it doesn't go wrong again i'm very nervous about this but i'll meet you guys once we're getting to the mines and uh, i guess figuring it all out oh boy hopefully this goes all right all righty so we are arriving at the mines uh, i am oh yeah let's just hope this goes all right all right, so is there somewhere where we can park Trashy up? Because I don't believe... Yeah, there's no stable here. So if Trashy leaves us, we're going to be a little screwed. There has to be a hitching post somewhere. All right, so I don't see a hitching post anywhere around here, unfortunately. So uh, I guess we're going to leave Trashy here and just hope that she stays around. I looked pretty much all around this whole area and didn't see a single one. But we'll see how this goes. Howdy, Vail. How's it going? Hey, partner. How's it going? It's going all right. Going all right. Uh, you know if these mines are safe? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, I pretty much spent all my money on this damn pickaxe, so a little nervous is all. Oh, hey man, um, if you're looking to sell any of your metal coming up, I'm gonna be here for about the next hour. I'll buy some of it off you if you want. Alrighty, like right here or uh, in Tumbleweed? I'll buy it right here. Alrighty, well I'm gonna go start mining, and uh, yeah, any, anything I need to know before going in the mines? Nah, yeah, you can mine out here as well, also, if you want. Oh, really? Does it matter yeah, if there's a veteran there, there or, or out here? Out or? here. Uh, I have no I idea, to be honest with you. Uh, just drag your, uh, put your pickaxe in your hand and you'll see some yellow spots light up here. Uh, that's oh, where you want to go. I see, I see. Alrighty, well, uh, thank you. I'm gonna get to work and, uh, yeah, I'll probably talk to you in a little bit. Yeah, man, how are we going? Alright, sweet. Let's, uh, let's try this out. Use. Swing pickaxe. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. All right. Sweet. It's actually pretty cool animation for it. 
actually like mining into the rock let's see what we get from this and how long it takes hopefully it doesn't take too too long all right there we go we collected a rock now can we mine at the same area let's see oh it seems that way uh you collect the rock and copper ore uh, let's keep going. Actually, let's check in the mines or check over here, I guess, and see if there's any differences. Again, if I think if we go on the actual yellow thing, it will just disappear. Oh, no, it doesn't this time. All right, well, let's keep mining and uh, see what we can get. Also, how much does that stuff weigh? Uh, copper ore, I think it weighs. So we are at nine kilograms now. And when we're done with this, let's see how much we're at. Uh, we are now at... 9.12 okay so it doesn't really weigh too much at all so i don't think we have to be too worried so uh let's do a bit of mining and uh yeah i guess we'll uh we'll speed through this real quick and see what how much money we can get again i'm not sure how much uh he pays for the different ores we should probably ask him that real quick yeah let's actually do that before we keep mining so we can at least know if we're getting uh whatever we're getting if it's uh you know good or not so let's put our pickaxe away real quick and see what he's paying hey fell you mind if i ask you uh what prices you're buying them for uh, well, see, most people uh, will pay you for $10 for a bar, which is uh, two ores put together. But uh, the only downside there is you're using two ores, plus it's $2 to make a bar per uh, two set. So, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Um, I'd pay, I got a contract with a blacksmith, um, and blacksmiths don't have to pay the, uh, the smithing fee. So I would just pay you, uh, I'd give you $5 per ore, which is just $10 straight out without the smithing fee. All right, like any ore, like a copper, iron, doesn't matter? I'd do, I'd do uh, $5 per iron ore, and then uh, the copper, uh, I don't even know if I need any more copper, you know, to be honest with you. All right, all right, and then the rocks, do you buy those as well? Nah, I got too many of them. Alrighty. Alrighty. That copper there, if I don't end up getting it off you, make sure you hold on to it, because it is worth a lot of money. It's just uh, a lot of people are uh, pretty pretty stocked up on copper at the moment. I got you. Last, I got you. last time I sold a, a, a swab of copper, I almost got a grand out of it. So. Holy. Oh. Okay, okay. And then, uh, and then uh, you know uh, anyone you know who anyone? would buy the regular rocks? Uh, honestly, I don't. Uh, if you want. I'd probably save maybe a stack or two of them just in case you find somebody. Uh, pretty much the only thing you're going to use those for is for uh, your camps and stuff. So oh, right. you might find someone trying to get some camp crafty stuff going. But I got you. All right. Thanks for the advice. I'm going to get back to work. Yeah, man. All right, sweet. So now we know the prices. Uh, he does seem to have a little bit of an echo with the Discord or not the Discord. The TeamSpeak user has left your channel. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a guide soon as well for Gold Rush and I'll include how to change all those sounds So you don't hear those sounds when you are actually uh, in game, but uh, that will come in a little bit But either way, I'm gonna just do we're gonna do a little montage of mining and see how much money we can make How's it going, buddy? He's going definitely a little bit of hard work. Yes, yeah, hard work, hard work, man. Are you heading out of here? Nah, I'll be around for a little bit. You right, know if I'm you. here, I'll be in tumbleweed. All right, all right. I'll probably be in the area for at least another hour. Ah, I got right. you. You having any luck? Hey, a little bit. I got three copper, three iron, so not horrible. No, no, no. Not great luck, but you know. I think, uh, I think they might have changed it uh, with one of the recent storms because uh, it was a little bit, uh, I'd, I'd say it was a little bit more steady the other day. Yeah, it seems like one out of every 10 or 15 I'm getting some iron or copper. It's taking quite a bit. Quite a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what else do you do in town? Uh, not a whole too lot. I, I pretty much have been mining lately. Uh, trying to save up for a nice little pony. Hey, I got walk you. that thing around. Yeah, I got a horse, but she's a uh, she's not the best. She is a she's quite the temperamental one, you know. <laughs> she's not the smartest, but I deal with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a Kentucky Walker. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. hey, it's not too bad. I got it for a hundred bucks. Oh wow. 
Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, just try to find a horse trader or someone somewhere, horse breeder. Yeah, yeah I, I usually hang out there, around five uh, times, Blackwater. Five times less. Yeah, I spent a lot of time with Blackwater, actually. Yeah, it was quite the trek coming out all the way here, but hopefully at some point it'll be worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did the same thing. I actually spent most of my, I've only been in town for about a week now, but oh, I spent yeah, most of my here. time in Blackwater. And then uh, once I started mining, I've been spending a lot of time out this way. And then I got a few connections up in Strawberry. Yeah, I usually would travel between uh, Strawberry and uh, Blackwater most of the time. I like coming down here every once in a while, though. Tumbleweed's a lot more uh, populated than I thought it would be, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch out this way. A little bandits. Really? Yeah, I've been robbed a few times. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. If I got robbed for this pickaxe, I would probably go cry, to be honest. I literally like the last four days getting this thing. I uh, literally the other day I uh, left the bank, made it like ten steps out of town, and somebody snatched me up. Jeez, what'd they take uh, from it? Uh, 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 my gun. Yeah, I can't exactly afford. I have about six dollars on me and about zero dollars in the bank. So, ooh, sounds like you could use some mining. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm here. Uh, well, come see me before you leave. I will. I will. You take care. That guy's nice. And back to mining. Hey, uh, I mean, since there's two of us, you want to try going up north or go on the other mines? Uh, I would like to, but I'm just worried about getting robbed, to be honest. I mean, if you're up for it, I, uh, I'm down. It's up to you. I got a wagon. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's go. Let's go. Screw it. Can we stop off at uh, Tumbleweed? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll buy good. what you got off you now. That way uh, you can buy... Uh, I'm going to buy some food and stuff to stock up. Uh, you got a gun on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I might have to hitch on your wagon because I don't... Oh, my horse is still here. Wow. So, uh... So this wagon shouldn't have been here. I fell asleep. The horse stable boy should have came and got it. I got you. Uh, we'll grab me a big one once we just get meet time. you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... I'll meet you at town and then we'll just take your wagon probably if that sounds good. Yeah, that's good with me. Yeah, I'm a little scared about these fellas. Let's get out of here. Oh boy. All right, so I think we're going to go try out a different mine. Let's see a little bit of bread. How's it going? Hey dude, would you mind putting your hands oh, up for me? Oh my. God crazy, damn it. Listen, sir, please. I just spent the last five days. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. That was a bit rough, wasn't it? A little bit. I'm not trying to hurt you now. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. Hello, pleasure to meet you. What's your name? I'm Hello. Seville. <laughs> Hello, my name's Johnny. Hey, Johnny Baskins. Well, I would say pleasure to meet you, Johnny, but... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not the best circumstances, is it? Let's see. I just want, I just want to look at a couple of things here. Uh, is this Lamette? Was that on your hip? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like Lamettes. Blaster, that's all I got. I spent all my money coming up here. I got oh, six dollars yeah. to my name. Oh, oh, fella. Oh, fella, you got a pickaxe, though. Pickaxe. Please, all... please. It took me the last five days to get that. Please, sir. I beg you, please. <laughs> okay, listen up. I'm not, I'm not a bad person, fella. I just need a little bit of money, uh, so I'm not gonna take your pickaxe, okay? Up. But I am gonna take a little bit of this iron ore, and I'm gonna take a carrot for my horse. Okay. Okay. Just one of just one of your carrots. Is there any chance well, I can keep that Lamont, please? That that's been with me through a lot of stuff. Oh, fella, now it's gonna be with me through a lot hey, of you stuff. Eh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave him with this uh, pickaxe, Susan. I don't wanna take it from him. Uh, uh, I'm gonna leave these ropes real loose. You'll be able uh -huh. to wiggle out of them in about five minutes or so. Don't don't do anything crazy now. Don't do anything crazy. All right. I know those pickaxes are worth a lot. Remember that I left you with $180 worth of pickaxe. Ah, well. Goodbye. Well, it's been about an hour, 20 minutes of mining. And interesting. I left us with the copper, our iron, which is the real valuable things all gone. Our gun that's been with us since the beginning of the series is gone. And we now have, uh, well, now we know we have, uh, someone to fight. Freaking Johnny, whatever his face is, and these people. Nice that they oh, my.
well he said we can break out of them after a little bit once they're loose so i think we're good to break out of them since they're gone again you're not usually supposed to be able to break free but uh you know he loosened them up and basically told us we're oh i'm a little well, frustrated a little, fella. a little bit pretty much the worst time impossible he loosened mine a little bit so i should be able to get out of them though all right let's break out of these things God, that that was about an hour and 20 minutes worth of work and our pistol that's been with us again since the start is gone. Oh, God damn. <sighs> Let me cut you loose. Yeah, it took everything. Oh my God. They took all my iron, took my gun, left my pickaxe though at least, but fucking hell. <sighs> well, be honest. Interesting. Yeah. yeah the second we're leaving that's that's that shit timing hey yo. that revolver has been that lamont's been with me for pretty much pretty much since i came to town that had a lot of sentimental value well my horse scurried off mind if i join you on the wagon you good god damn it did he tell you one of them told me their name was johnny uh yeah i have no idea who they were I didn't even say a single word. They said they took all my stuff because I wasn't nice. I don't fucking know all of it? Like about. everything? Yeah, everything. Holy shit. Uh, well, they took my pistol, my iron, my gun. God damn it. There goes about an hour's worth of work and uh, however long I've had that damn pistol Yeah, for. I just lost like 300 some dollars. They take your pickaxe? Yeah. Well, a bunch. Ah, uh, we're. I'm fucking hunting these people down once I'm get, fucking get a little bit of shape. Oh, I'm freaking hunting down till every single one of them's in a grave. Yeah, they might be up here in tumbleweed. Yeah, we made it. God damn, I'm. A, I am quite pissed off at the moment. If I, I do say. Yeah, I'm fucking hunting every one of them down. God damn it. Oh, be honest, I'm probably headed back to Blackwater to see if I can fucking find someone to sell some of my stuff to. Yeah, I'll probably do the same. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I gotta get me a new buggy. This one's uh, a little broken. Yeah, I need to get me a new gun. I got six dollars. Uh, yeah. That, I think I got some that, cheap cattlemen's in uh, Blackwater, but... Oh, cheap damn. Cheap is cheap, not six dollars. Yeah. You mind if I join you? Yeah, man, that's fair. At least if we get robbed again, we get robbed together. <laughs> you mock my words, Ryan. I'm hunting these fuckers down one day. I am not happy at all about that encounter. Me either. I think he was mad because uh, his rope failed. And uh, I asked him if it was his first day on a job. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, the second we saw him pulled up, we should have pulled our guns out and just been ready. But there's yeah, three of them. I, they had uh, rifles. Yeah. They're... Uh... We should have just got out of there, man. I know. I, the second I saw them, I was trying to get to my horse. Should have just gone on the horse and dipped. Well, we're heading back to Blackwater. Um, we'll probably talk there. See if maybe. I think we have a little bit of money left in the bank. Well, that was beyond horrible time. That was. If they had been a second, like a minute later, we would have been out of there. Fine. Or at least we would have been on our horses. At least been able to probably ride in the tumbleweed. Maybe get some health as they're chasing, but. We were just we fucking stuck. stuck. I'm more pissed about the Lamac, cause that's been with me through a shit ton of stuff, you know? A sentimental value more than the uh, more than money can buy. Well, be honest, that's the second revolver I've lost now, so <laughs> Well, next time I ain't going down without using mine. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the third time I've been robbed now. That's the first for me. Mm. Not exactly the funnest thing, obviously. I'm thinking about getting myself a shotgun. Honestly. Well, I mean, that's the thing I liked about the Lamar. It had a 20 gauge in it as well. But well, one day, Ryan, I'm, I'm gonna see you again. I'm gonna come to you and I'll show you a couple, a couple, uh, you know, a couple of their revolvers. Maybe give you one. Be on the lookout for a man named Johnny. Hopefully I don't cross the line with Johnny because he, he's getting it. If I see a man in black named Johnny, I'm punching him straight in the face. He'll know why. He will. Please don't tell me it's them. Nah, so we should probably warn these folk. Wanna warn them? 
haven't seen Water Wolves. Hey, hey yo. Hmm? Y'all watch out. We just got robbed by a bunch of scumbag bandits. Down the road? Yep, yep. Yeah, black, yeah. black? What? Were they wearing black? At the mine? Yep, yep, in black. Yeah, I, I, they took Gold all my stuff. The they, uh, uh, I, th I, right I thought the uh, even bandits had a uh, law among themselves not to do that. Yeah, they're doing some real scums. Yeah, there's three of them. One's a girl. Oh, two See, guys, one girl. Yeah. You got robbed by a girl? Hey, Derek. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not sexist, so... I don't discriminate. <laughs> I prefer not, not to get robbed in wrong. general, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. We will definitely look into it. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just watch out around there and tumbleweed. Does it feel good and uh, drive? Alright, I've never drove one of these things, these things before, uh, so you'll uh, figure it out. Alright, yeah, thank you guys. Y'all take care, watch out. You do. Glad we finally made it home. <laughs> oh my. Quite the day, quite the day. At least we're finally black somewhere safe. We're back somewhere safe. Oh, I got robbed right here one time. Actually. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Holy. I think guy last with me right here and dragged me up under the weeds. Jeez. So far, at least black water seemed pretty safe. Relatively, Relatively, I guess. Yeah, this could be a brutal world, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on on the main road over here. I'm probably going to go to Gunsmith, see if Grandpa's around, help me out a little bit. Yeah, uh, I need to find Ellie, or Effie. You know Effie? I have no uh, idea who that is. She's uh, the local blacksmith. Oh, trying to get another pickaxe? Yeah, I got to get that, and I got a bunch of metal I got to sell. Alright, let's see if Grandpa's around. We'll fill him in with our tail and see if maybe we can get a really cheap revolver. Damn, that sucks for us getting robbed, but uh, it does, on the positive side, give us a little bit of a storyline to go off of. Now we can try and hunt those people down one day, which we definitely will, 100%. It does not seem like Grandpa's around, unfortunately. Oh, wait, what's this? Please see guns before buying from the Calico. Save yourself money. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like Grandpa's here right now. We might see him if we just start walking around town. But, geez, that that was uh, quite, quite the interesting episode. Unfortunately, we got robbed for our first time. We now have no gun. Uh, we can still sell this copper, maybe to someone. We could probably put these rocks in our freaking uh, safety deposit for later. But either way, we got a little, little screwed over today. On uh, the next episode, we're definitely going to get a gun. Maybe start looking at hunting these guys. Although, I think we're going to need a little bit more money in our bank to be able to uh, actually go out on a hunt. If I feel completely naked, though, without my freaking gun. I mean, at least we have a knife, but that's not really going to do us too much in terms of uh, if we get into trouble again. But I think that's going to be about it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And in the comment section below, tell me what you think we should do next. Uh, at some point, we're definitely going to be hunting these bandits down and hopefully dealing with them. But uh, either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this little bit more of an action-packed episode. If you did, again, as I said, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.